This is J.P. Antonacci with the Hamilton Spectator. We're here on the banks of the Grand River where a group from Protect the Tract has just completed a 90-kilometer canoe trip uh, along the Grand River. We're going to talk with one of the paddlers who was there the whole time, Donna Silversmith. Hey, Donna. Hi. What was the motivation for this trip? Um, the motivation for this trip is because um, we live on our reserve here across the river here and um, we have um, a water crisis on our reserve here and it's been like this way for like a very long time now and so what we thought was that we had to go up the Grand River to see what was going on to see why our water down here is inadequate for us to use. And another reason we went was for the memoriam that the Haudenosaunee Confederacy Council of Chiefs and Clan Mothers had put on the track, on the Holloman track. So um, we did some um, a little, you know, motions or little things, events on the land. So this time we thought we were going to exercise our water rights too. And it's to protect the water, try to preserve the water, try to see what's going on with this river. We're, we're identified to certain areas where, you know, contamination was from different, you know, drainage things and cities and that. So, so we did it. Um, we gathered data. And so in the next couple of days, we're going to try to put it together, try to figure out what is really going on up the river and why we're the only, I guess, community along the Grand River that has inadequate drinking water. So we need to keep in mind that we have to look after our children because not only that, right now, the water that we have on our territory, we're getting it from the Grand River. And um, our children, it's um, the water, um, the water is going into the schools like to utilize for drinking water and different things within our schools. So there's great concerns for our children. And during up the river in the St. George area, we had learned about children who are getting sick from the water. And the only things that they have in common are is the Grand River and utilizing the Grand River. So those are like concerns that we're looking at because right now, like myself personally, like I don't have adequate drinking water and I never have for like about 16 years now. And it doesn't seem like nobody's paying attention to this river and there's been studies done and there's studies coming out but you know as Haudenosaunee people we thought we better go get the feeling of the river because we're so interconnected with Mother Earth.